I volunteered to go to church. Um, they wanted to see if they would let blacks into the church because blacks wasn't allowed. They say it was private property. Blacks was not allowed. So we had um, made arrangement to go to church that morning. So as we walked up there, the, some of the members had their hands out. Like, this is private property. You can't, you can't come in here. You can't go to this church. You got to turn around. So we say we want to worship God. We want to go to church and we want to worship God. They say, well, this is private property. By that time, the police came. They say, well, if you don't get off of this property, we're taking you to jail. We didn't move. They got us, led us to the paddy wagon, and when we got there, they had dogs in there. I think here at First United Methodist Church, we need to be forgiven. We need to, um, to say we are sorry, and we need to, to experience forgiveness. And we need to uh, experience the unconditional love that some of you have shown us just by being here tonight. And we need to show you the unconditional love that we didn't 40 years ago. But we need to do it tonight. I want to say to, uh, to Barbara, to, to Audrey, to Janice, and, to, and really to the community, on behalf of our church, we want to say to you today, we're so sorry that you experienced pain and rejection here, that you were turned away, that you were arrested. We are sorry that we did not welcome you and the Christ in you, and we did not display Christ in us. We regret our actions. We re regret the hurt that we caused you. We ask your forgiveness. We welcome you as the sisters in Christ and as friends. By the grace of God, we welcome you. God bless you. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm blessed you. I'm blessed you, Barbara.